Hey guys, this is Ty Force Games, and I'm back to your reaction to Ruby Volume 4 World of Remnant Veil. Vale. And since, okay, before, since this is a rather short video, I might as well tell you guys this now. I think I've said this in a previous video, but I'm just going to remind you. I'm not going to be reacting to Volume 4 yet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just going to do like everything, everything else that's Volume 4 except for the actual episodes. Why? Because I'm going to be waiting for another, um, a, another time where me, Zach, and Haley can meet up and and then we'll react to the episodes together like that. And so we, so yeah, that'll be a thing and we'll, it'll be all three of us reacting to Volume 4. And hopefully you guys are okay with that. I mean, if you aren't, oh well, that's how I'm doing it. That's how me, Haley, and Zach are doing it. It was Haley's idea. So, yeah. All right, let's just jump right into this world of remnant. Veil. All right. Well, school's definitely out. Crow. Let's see if we can't all learn a little something. Mm. Welcome to the world of remnant. Not the best place to live, but where you're staying, it can get a little easier. Hmm. You've got towns and villages that pop up as fast as they fall. The Fauna's have menagerie, but the sweet spots are Vale, Mistral, Atlas, Crackle, the four kingdoms of the modern era. And each one's special in its own little way. Okay. Let's talk about Vale. Hmm. All right. In the grand scheme of things, Vale's pretty well guarded. It rests on the northeastern end of the world's largest continent, Suns. Like most successful kingdoms, Vale's survival over the years can mostly be attributed to prime real estate. Its front is protected by steep mountains, and its back is against waters too shallow for the real threat to pop out of. Not to say I haven't heard some crazy fish stories. Aside from the main city, which the kingdom's named, Vale territory also extends to several neighboring cities farther along the northwest coastline, hmm. as well as a small island in Patch. Oh, there's it's Patch. to raise a family, if you're into that sort of thing. Of course, all attempts to extend the kingdom's reach past the mountains and farther into the mainland have been the loss of families. Yep. But, like I said, Mountain in Glen. the grand scheme of things, Vale ain't half bad. Regular climate barriers and some serious border defenses means the citizens of Vale can spend less time worrying about survival and more time just living their lives. <laughs> with the fall of Beacon, yeah. everyone's a little more worried these days. No kidding. And they should be. Mm-hmm. They should be. We all should be quite worried. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, this volume is going to be so freaking amazing. I cannot wait. Oh man, I'm gonna, you know, keep reacting, you know, to World of Remnant, you know, if they, you know, when they come out with more, which I have no doubt they will come out with more. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I gotta say. So other than, you know, remember, I won't be reacting to volume four until the, until me, Zach, and Haley can meet up again. So yeah, that's all. Till next time, guys. See ya.